Whenever we talk about who the richest people are, it's usually the wealthiest men in the United States of America or the world. Astonishingly, we don't go into too much detail on a group of individuals that collectively own more than $200 billion. We're talking about who Beyonce says run the world. Girls. In this video, we'll focus on the richest women in the US today. Can you guess who the female bosses are on our list? But before we get on to our video, click on the subscribe button if you still haven't. Don't forget to click the notification bell as well, so you're always notified whenever we have a new video. So, let's get right to it. Top 5. Mackenzie Scott, Amazon, $26 billion. At number 5, Mackenzie Scott, previously known as Mrs. Amazon, uh, Bezos. Even though Mackenzie Scott's divorce from the world's fifth richest man, Jeff Bezos, is more widely known than her marriage to him, she has led a very remarkable life. She got bitten by the literary bug at the tender age of six, and she eventually pursued English at Princeton University under the tutelage of Toni Morrison, a Nobel laureate in literature. Her first book, The Testing of Luther Albright, was published in 2005, and she received an American Book Award for it a year later. In 2013, she released her second book, Traps. However, the book sales were not the reason for her billions. Jeff Bezos wed Mackenzie Scott in 1993. Both of them relocated to Seattle and founded Amazon. She became Amazon's first staff member and played a significant role in the company's early years in growth. She worked on the business concepts, accounts, and shipping of early orders for the company. She even arranged the first freight contract for Amazon. It seems like she was a great worker. As the proverb goes, all good things must come to an end. And it ended alright with a hefty divorce settlement of $35.6 billion which is about 4% of Amazon. But after 25 years of marriage, 35 bill doesn't seem enough. Mackenzie joined the Giving Pledge, a movement launched by Warren Buffett and Bill Gates to persuade extraordinarily wealthy people to donate the bulk of their fortune to charitable organizations. She has then donated numerous times to different organizations, from Habitat for Humanity to Planned Parenthood and even to organizations in Kenya, Latin America, Brazil, and India, among others. Recently, she received backlash when she mentioned that she wouldn't reveal the amount she has donated as well as the recipients. She then decided to have a website where her philanthropic activities will be detailed. So far, she seems to still be doing well enough for herself at $26 billion. Do you think the uber rich should disclose their donations? Why or why not? Drop us a comment below. Top 4. Miriam Adelson, Casinos 31.3 billion dollars the richest israeli american and 40th richest woman in the world comes in at number four if you've ever spent a weekend in las vegas you've undoubtedly let your money loose at the las vegas sands where she's a majority shareholder miriam adelson was born in 1945 in tel aviv to parents who fled poland aside from being rich she's also achieved quite a lot she graduated from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem with a degree in microbiology and genetics. She also completed her medical education at the Sackler Medical School at Tel Aviv University. But her career as a doctor wasn't what made her the richest woman. The road to her riches was paid by billionaire Sheldon Adelson. The late Sheldon Adelson served as the Las Vegas Sands Chairman and Chief Executive Officer. Sheldon bought the business in 1988. And since then, he has grown it into the international behemoth it is today, with branches in America, London, Paris, Venice, and Macau. Sheldon Adelson was one of the wealthiest persons in America at the time of his death and owned a sizable amount of shares in Las Vegas Sands. He was also worth $36.4 billion at the time. About half of his gambling business was handed to his wife, Miriam, after he passed away at the age of 87. The Adelson family currently holds 56% of the Las Vegas Sands Company. Miriam has been a prominent political supporter in the U.S. for a while, 
speaking out strongly and giving hefty amounts of dollars to candidates she believes in. In 2016, she was given the Presidential Medal of Freedom by Donald Trump. Top 3. Jacqueline Mars Candy and Pet Food $38.5 billion The 28th richest person in the world is your best friend before, during, and even after a relationship. Jacqueline Mars of the candy company Mars Incorporated. Some of the most well-known candies you automatically buy at the store, M&M's, Maltesers, Snickers, Twix, Combos, Skittles, and of course, Mars, are produced by this $45 billion candy mega corporation. They also produce pet food and offer animal care services. Mars Pet Care is mostly known for its pedigree and Whiskas brands. Also, Mars Equestrian is sponsored by the candy company. Since the 30s, horses have played a significant role in the history of the Mars brand. The Milky Way Farm, see what they did there, in Tennessee, owned by Ethel V and Frank C. Mars, was renowned for breeding champion thoroughbred racehorses. One of the most notable thoroughbreds is Galahadian, winner of the 1940 Kentucky Derby. And food for thought, one of their cherished horses inspired the name of the Snickers Bar. The Mars family has been involved in equestrian activities for many generations. Some of these activities include breeding and competing top-level Arabian, Quarter, and eventing horses, as well as caring for ex-service horses. Jacqueline is an avid supporter of equestrian events. Jacqueline was raised with a silver spoon by the rich Mars family in Washington, D.C. She went to one of the earliest girls' boarding institutions in New England, Miss Hall's School. She then earned a degree in anthropology from the elite Bryn Mawr College. She began working for Mars Incorporated in 1982 and served as the group president for food products. After almost two decades, she retired from the post, but this won't stop her from living in excessive luxury for the rest of her life. After all, Jacqueline and her two brothers each have equal shares in Mars Incorporated. Who doesn't love chocolates? What's your favorite chocolate brand? Let us know in the comments section below. Top 2. Julia Coke Coke Industries $57.6 billion Our second richest American boss lady is the widow of the late David Coke and the 20th richest person in the world, Julia Coke. Julia, born in 1962, spent her early years in Iowa where she worked at Flesher's, her parents' furniture store. She relocated to New York and started working as Adolfo Sardinia's assistant. She even did fittings for former First Lady Nancy Reagan. In 1991, Julia went on a blind date with David Coke, and it didn't turn out that well. But fate had other plans and a year later, they met again at a party and began dating before being married in 1996. The Cokes resided in a 5th Avenue apartment before relocating to the luxurious apartment building 740 Park Avenue in 2004. This residence is recognized as one of the most opulent and noteworthy residential structures in all of New York City. It's even featured in books and films because of all the rich people who live there. The Cokes' three children, David Jr., Mary Julia, and John Mark received 42% of the company following David's passing in 2019. David Koch's net worth was $53.5 billion at the time of his passing, and he was the seventh richest person in the world then. As the second largest corporation in America, Koch's Industries recently had $125 billion in revenue. And Julia sits on the board of directors for this multi-billion dollar company, which is why she's worth about $57.6 billion. Coke Industries also does not make all of its money from oil drilling alone, as they've dipped into agriculture, packaging, consumer products, and renewable energy to name a few. With the growth of Coke, Julia is expected to rise swiftly in the ranks of the world's wealthiest people. Although she runs a successful business, Julia is also the president of the David H. Koch Foundation, a humanitarian organization that has donated approximately $200 million to a variety of organizations around the country. Have you guessed who the top richest woman in the U.S. is today? But before that, subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button. 
click the notification bell as well so you'll be notified whenever we release a new video. Top 1. Alice Walton, Walmart, $59 billion. The wealthiest American lady and 19th richest person in the world belongs to the Walton family, also the richest family in the world. Alice Walton was born in 1949 in Arkansas. She, alongside her brothers Rob, Jim, and John, was raised by her parents Sam and Helen Walton. In 1962, her father founded Walmart, which over the years developed into the largest company in the world by revenue, generating over $573 billion. There are around 10,500 Walmart stores in 24 countries throughout the world. Each week, the company serves over 230 million customers and has about 2.3 million employees. And Alice Walton owns about $1.2 billion in shares. Alice has consistently declined the temptation to work for Walmart. So, she consistently found ways to avoid working for her family's corporation. And after many ventures, she eventually founded the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art in Arkansas in 2005. The organization is home to pieces from well-known painters like Andy Warhol. Just like, and that's it for today's video. We hope you learned something new. See you in our next video. And always remember, Invictus Luxury, for people who want more.